The battle between gravity and man's necessity to move things uphill is eternal. For railroaders, it is also a way of life. Here on CSX's Saugatuck grade in western Michigan, operating crews are well aware of the challenges posed by this steep and winding grade out of the Kalamazoo River Valley. With proper horsepower and technique, and sometimes the addition of manned helper locomotives, most trains make it up just fine. But sometimes these boxes aren't checked, sometimes it rains, and they're riding the horsepower line to begin with. That is where this misadventure begins. Halfway up the hill at 55th Street, today's Q326 is about to make their appearance, but they won't be making it clear of this spot anytime soon. In a steady rain and with 9,200 tons on the drawbar, this paltry power offering isn't exactly up to the task.
So convincingly defeated, and with no other trains around to render assistance, they resort to cutting the train in two and doubling the hill to the siding at Sagatuck, located there just for this purpose. Jumping ahead in time, we're at the summit and the siding, where they're entering the hole with the first 40 cars from their train. After securing the first cut in the siding, they're bringing their power back down the hill to 55th Street to couple on to the remainder of their consist.
we get a closer look at this well-worn Union Pacific AC44CW before the engineer gets them started with plenty of sand and wheel slip eventually winning out the war with gravity, albeit on tape too. After a recrew and reassembly of the train at the summit, we catch them one more time heading through Zealand on the home stretch of their run to Grand Rapids. Thanks for watching this 477th episode of the Thornapple River Rail series. Be sure to like and subscribe for more from Michigan's foremost in railroading documentaries. <laughs>